We are taking chapter number 16, which is water, a precious resource. Question and answer on water, a precious resource. First one is true and false. A fresh water stored in the ground is much more than the present, what is present in rivers and lakes of the world. This is true. Water shortage is a problem faced only by people living in rural areas. No. Even in urban areas, the water shortage problem is there. So, this uh, is false. Water from rivers is the only source from the irrigation in the fields. And this is false because there are other uh, sources also to irrigate the fields. Rain is the ultimate source of water and this is true. So, this is true, false, false, true. Explain how groundwater is recharged. See, if uh, you are standing here, this is your ground. So, the groundwater, why it is called as groundwater? Because this groundwater is found here. How this is recharged? Rainwater and water from sources like rivers and ponds, they seep into or seep through the soil and they fill the empty spaces and cracks deep below the ground and this process of seeping of water from here to here is known as infiltration so the answer can be the process of in, by the process of infiltration groundwater gets recharged there are 10 tube wells in a lane of 50 houses what could be the long term impact on the water table see just for 50 houses 10 tube tube wells are too much so, ultimately, the water table will recede or it may deplete also. So, 10 tube wells are too much for a lane of 50 houses and people would use this groundwater. They will exploit the, this uh, groundwater. May, it may be possible they will use it mindlessly. So, this will lead to depletion of water table in the long run. Next is, uh, you have been asked to maintain a garden. How will you minimize the use of water? So, there are various ways. Uh, you can use drip irrigation, sprinkler, sprinkler systems you can employ in order to minimize the use of water. And the watering plant should be done to minimize loss of water by evaporation also. Explain the factors responsible for the depletion of water table. So, there are various factors. First is, if the population is on the higher side, that means this is because water is the basic resource, basic human need. So, if there, are, there is more demand of water due to increasing population, this will lead to increasing demand of water because in all the human activities, we would require water. Then the other aspect is deforestation because the forest cover we are removing because of uh, intended or unintended, uh, you know, work or say for betterment of our life. But still we are deforesting. So, this has disturbed the natural process of recharging the groundwater. Okay. What I mean to say is the amount of water has increased and the recharging of groundwater is decreased. And this is a mismatch. This is a mismatch between demand and supply and this is the responsible uh, factor for depletion of water vapor. Fill in the blanks with the appropriate answer. People obtain groundwater through wells and tube wells. Three forms of water are solid, liquid and gas. Water bearing layer of earth is water table and the process of water seepage into the ground is known as infiltration. Which one of the following is not responsible for water shortage? Heavy rainfall. This, this adds to the water table. But rapid growth of industry, increasing population, mismanagement of water resources, these are all the factors responsible for water shortage. Choose the correct option. The total water. This is very important. The total water of our world always remains constant. Make a sketch showing groundwater and water table, label it. So, this is stream or a lake and you might wonder 
the lake or the ponds the water doesn't seem to seep inside why because the water has already seeped infiltrated and it has reached the water table so this is the water table here you can see the water table this is your ground level it's somewhat higher here it's somewhat lower here so you'll find these lakes and the ponds always on the lower level and here you can just dig the hand the tube well or hand pump so that you can get water out of it and then finally inside this you have ground water which is seeping till the time it reaches the rock bed so these were few question and answer on water thank you so much take care of yourself